Things could hardly be going much better for Liverpool FC at the moment. There are several factors that have influenced the results on the field, with player recruitment crucial and Jurgen Klopp one of the best coaches in the world at the helm. And with their latest financial results having been released, things are going incredibly well off the pitch too. Meanwhile, Anfield is set to be further expanded and the Reds will move into a new training ground in Kirby ahead of this summer's pre-season. But away from the obvious pillars of Liverpool's success lies a group of people working behind the scenes to improve each and every player, each and every day. Peter Kravitz is one of Klopp's assistant coaches. He came with the German from Dortmund and is known for his ability when it comes to scouting and analysis. He's the expert known as Klopp's eyes, just as the now-departed Zelko Buvac was Klopp's brain. Alongside Kravitz is another assistant, Pep Linders. He has come through the age groups on Merseyside, working first as under-16s boss, then the link between the academy and the first team as development coach, before he then spent a short time as first team boss in Holland with NEC Niemeyer. Now he's back and is more important than ever before. He's incredibly highly rated and could well be on the shortlist for when Klopp moves on and the main manager's job becomes available. John Axelberg is another familiar name. The Liverpool goalkeeping coach was formerly a player and then a coach at Tranmere Rovers. He joined the Reds in 2009 and became goalkeeping coach in 2011. He's taken some criticism over the years, but it's safe to say now with Alison Becker the club's number one, no one can have any complaints over the goalkeeping department. Akterberg's assistant is Jack Robinson. He's only been at the club since September 2018, having previously worked at the FA, Manchester United, Crystal Palace and Leeds. Vitor Matos, the Portuguese, is the club's elite development coach and he took over that role from Pep Linders. He was appointed in October 2019, moving from FC Porto B where he was the assistant coach. He has also worked as a coach in China and is vastly experienced and highly thought of. Thomas Gronemark is the throwing coach, working as a freelancer having been brought in by Klopp. Marginal gains are something that gets talked about a lot in the modern game. They're crucial at the top level and he certainly brings them. The Dane is not a permanent employee, but has worked with the club on several occasions. He explained last month that while he works for a number of clubs across Europe, he would never work for a direct rival of any of those sides. Andreas Kornmeyer is head of fitness and conditioning. He's well known among Reds fans for being a Klopp lookalike and joined the Reds in July 2016 from Bayern Munich. He gets along with the players very well by all accounts and has become a vital part of the backroom team since he arrived at Melwood. Connell Murta and Tom King both work as fitness coaches. The former was a professional at Hearts and for Northern Ireland's under-21s. He first worked at the academy in 2012 and has been with the first team for three years. King has only been at the club since last summer after completing his PhD with the Reds over the previous three seasons. He largely works on injury prevention, warm-ups and post-training analysis. Jordan Fairclough was their assistant. He started working at the academy on an internship in October 2017 and has been a permanent first team employee since last summer. Head of nutrition is Mona Nemmer. She was brought in to help the kitchen staff prepare food effectively and she also teaches players how to cook. That means that they can learn how to prepare themselves best when they're not directly in the hands of the club. Mona Nemmer also organises one-on-one -on -one sessions with the players to assess their diets and make improvements. Once again, marginal gains are crucial. Mark Leyland works as the post-match analyst. He analyzes both individually and collectively, using stats and videos to feed back to the players, with both good and bad points included. Greg Matheson operates as technical scout for the opposition. Formerly of West Ham United, he moved in October 2015 and provides videos and documents to the staff for the Reds' next opponents. He works one game ahead of the team, so when they're playing at the weekend, he will be watching their next opponents. James French also works as an opposition analyst. He worked with Brendan Rodgers at Swansea and then moved to Anfield alongside the Irishman in 2012. Then there are numerous medical staff to consider. Philip Jacobson heads up the medical side of things, while David Riding's rehabilitation fitness coach works with him. He writes the programme for rehab and recovery from injuries and works alongside physios and fitness coaches to make sure the players are back as soon as possible when they do have to miss games. Christopher Robeck and Jose Luis Rodriguez are first team physios. Both have links to other members of the coaching team, with Robeck having worked with Klopp at Mainz and Rodriguez having joined the Reds at the same time as Philip Jakobsen, who he'd worked alongside in Qatar for an orthopaedic and sports medicine hospital. Joe Lewis is another physio. He joined the academy in 2009 and then moved up to the first team setup in 2016. Paul Small, meanwhile, is the first team masseur. 
Lee Radcliffe is a kit management coordinator, meaning he kits the players out for training, matches and everything else in between, both home and abroad. Graham Carter too makes sure the players have everything they need. He was the club coach driver in the 1970s before becoming a full-time employee under Gerard Hunier in 1999. Steve Lilly is expected to come in from Manchester City, replacing outgoing physio Richie Partridge, who is taking a job with the Qatar national team. The backroom team might not have got the recognition they deserve, but they certainly have played a huge role in Liverpool's recent and ongoing successes.